What is happening guys? My name is Jamie and today we are reviewing the new album by Harry Kelly for the sky and the album Mia. Mia. If that's how you pronounce it. So in case you don't know, I'm a big fan of Harry Kiri for the Sky and I absolutely adore all the albums. Yes, yes, later on during this week we're going to do an album ranking for this particular band. So, they, this is their fifth studio album and I was so damn pumped for this LP to drop. Harry Kiri for the Sky incorporate elements of post-black metal along with punk at times but they have the beautiful mixture of black gaze along with shoe gaze elements that sound very similar to bands like Alcest. Although Harry Curie for the Sky has much more of a punchier sound in my opinion. Alcest is more of a soothing style of black metal where Harry Curie for the Sky has such beautiful melody along with just intense vicious vocals by the vocalist JJ. So, in case you don't know, Harry Curie for the Sky is a Austrian black metal band. Yes, they are black metal. They incorporate elements of black metal, post-black metal, along with hardcore elements as well. JJ incorporates hardcore vocals within these black metal songs. You can tell that they have evolved throughout this album. With 10 songs running for about an hour and 25 minutes. Yes, this is their longest album. And my God, this band does long albums so damn well. Are you expecting some filler songs? Well, no you're not, but in some cases this is not Harry Curie for the Sky's best album. Oh no no no, Long Gone are the masterpiece albums like like the self-titled along with Araki Gagahara if that's how you pronounce it and even Three Trauma. This is on the same sort of similar themes with Arson Except Arson, in my opinion, is probably the weakest album. Harry Curry for the Sky and the album Mia yeah, is just slightly better than Arson. With beautiful infectious melodies that pop in and out throughout songs, but some songs at times do sound monotonous. And although Three Empty Words has such beautiful guitar melody, I feel that Three Empty Words is very similar to the song I Paul Bera and even Sing for the Damage We've Done. They sort of do recycle the same, same old melodies now and again. Although what is very different on this album that they incorporate mellow death riffs. Yes, Harry Curry for the Sky are definitely quite an experimental band. They really play with these genres. Although this is centralized to black metal, there are still amazing parts. This album no doubt is up there to be one of my favorite albums of the year, don't get me wrong, even though I feel this is the one of their weakest albums. But, wow, the melodies are quite infectious. Like, if you listen to the self-title along Araki Gahara and even Trauma, you're going to realise there's a big difference between those albums and this album. This is more focused on the post-hardcore themes, where some of these songs, especially the JJ's vocals, do sound quite monotonous. I think the main problem on this album are the vocals. JJ's vocals are absolutely fantastic, don't get me wrong, but he's got the same old vocal tone. Yeah, at times it does get and quite samey, but that's what you're expecting in a post-black metal album like this. Although enough negatives aside, let's go to the positives. So the positives on this album, the production is absolutely fucking fantastic, it really is. Amazing soothing guitar elements, along with the beautiful melodies that intertwine between each song. Each song has different flavours, some intense vocals, I love the vocals on this. JJ's vocals are absolutely fantastic, incorporate more of those hardcore themed vocals, but yeah, what do you expect? There's just so much happening on this album, with, with special guests such as Niche from Alcest, along with, along with the lead vocalist from Galia. Um, who also created a fantastic album last year, which was Limbo. He's on the song Seville Need Needle Golden Dawn. There are so many songs on this album that just bleed with atmosphere, that bleed with influences of different other genres. I love the drumming on this. This is one of the best drum performances out of any Harry Curry for the Sky. What this band does is they have crescendo songs where they slowly build up, the drumming starts to intensify, we get some blast beats, we get, and then we get some intricate guitars, and then we also get the conclusion, which usually the conclusion is quite epic. Expect Harry Curry for the Sky songs to be very long, and they are long. 
We get one of the longest songs off any album. It's I'm All About Dusk. So let's go track by track. The album kicks off with I, Paul Berra. Like I said, there are beautiful guitar melodies throughout the song. Really nice crescendo to the conclusion of the song. What I really do enjoy is JJ's vocals. Now Matthias does fantastic guitar work on this. Love the beautiful melodies. There's um, some overlaying piano melody on this song as well. What I do notice is that there are gothic elements on this album, incorporating keys, incorporating some orchestral elements throughout this album. I'm not too sure if the guitars are creating those orchestral elements because of the guitar tone, but there are some beautiful epic moments. Links to Sing For The Damage We've Done. It's Sing For The Damage We've Done, and this is the by far the best song of the album, just because Niche is on this. This is beautiful, it really is quite atmospheric in tone. Like I said, there's some beautiful, there's a beautiful build up to the song. JJ comes in firing in all the cylinders, and then all of a sudden, it gets so damn fucking heavy, blast beats galore, and then all of a sudden it just transitions into such a beautiful, acoustic, Alceste-like tone, and this is when Niche comes in, with some beautiful angelic vocals, and then all of a sudden, Niche incorporates barrage black metal vocals. Sick for the damage we done. So damn good it really is. JJ's and Niche's vocals just harmonize so damn well. I love the drumming on this and the beautiful melody. -da -da -da. Then the guitar melody, which incorporates mellow death style riffing as well. But the guitar melody on this. Oh. Oh, so damn good. I love, I love the guitarist. I love the guitar melody. Yeah, Sing For The Damage We've Done is absolutely fucking fantastic. Us Against The December Skies is another beautiful, beautiful song. More piano is incorporated throughout this song. Really enjoy JJ's vocals. Really love the guitar intricate melodies. I'm All About The Dusk. Again, another fantastic song. Very atmospheric in tone as well. It's quite fast paced. I am absolutely sweating here. Holy shit. Love the drumming on this, love the guitar work, love JJ's vocals, and there is sort of an interesting, beautiful bass melody throughout this. I just love how everything just becomes all jazzy, which is overall awesome, but it's something different. Three Empty's Words, in my opinion, is one of the weakest songs off the album, because I just feel it, it's sort of recycled sort of themes on this particular, on this song, Three Empty Words, and I feel this is their weakest song. It's really good overall, but there are some weaknesses. The songwriting on this, the songwriting is okay, I suppose. But yeah, what can I expect? It's just an average Harry Curie for the Sky song. And Harry Curie for the Sky doesn't do average songs, but Three Empty Words would be one of the weakest songs off the album. We get Once Upon a Winter. Once Upon a Winter is much more slower paced song. This is for everyone that wants a sort of a break from, from this particular style of metal. Yes, it slowly builds up and it's quite atmospheric in tone, but Once Upon a Winter is such a beautiful song overall. And Oceans Between Us is probably up to be one of the best songs off the album. There are just so many intricate guitar melodies, there are so many melodies that intertwine in your mind. Again, a beautiful mixture of black gaze and shoe gaze and beautiful acoustic moments, and I just like get love the piano moments, the beautiful synths as well, to just build up the atmosphere. Yeah, in Oceans Between Us is one of the best songs. Silver Needle and Golden Dawn has Gara's lead vocalist featured on this song and it's just another fantastic fucking song. Harry Curry for the Sky really shine. Silver, Silver Needle Golden Dawn. The lyrics convey quite a lot of emotion. A lot of talking about depression, talking about a lot of a lot of thoughts of suicide here especially but on this particular album as well. Now, Harry Curry for the Sky lyrics are very deep in tone and that's what I really do enjoy about Harry Curry for the Sky because they don't shy away from all this terrible depression. Silver Needle Golden Dawn is beautiful, love the guitars on this. Time is a Ghost again is a much slower song but it still builds up in tone incorporating elements of incorporating elements of so many different genres in this particular song. I just really enjoy his vocals, his vocals are fantastic but Time is a Ghost is just another fantastic song but on this album. Song to Say Goodbye is the next song. And yeah, what a great way to end off the album. It's beautiful. I just love the conclusion. It ends so beautifully and softly after just a barrage of heavy vocals, stunningly beautiful guitar. The melodies are lovely and it just becomes quite shoegazy in tone and, and it ends with some beautiful piano and guitar. And yeah, Harakiri for the Sky definitely have created another fantastic album in their discography. 
although there are some weaknesses on this. In my opinion, this is slightly better than Arson. Even Arson was a fantastic album as well. Mia has definitely got its accolades. Were they able to grab a listener's retention for an hour and 25 minutes? There's just so much happening. Again, with sometimes odd times, progressive elements as well. There's just so much happening within their songs that it would take fucking like an hour to actually review this album fully. But yeah, what can I say? What can I say? My favorite, uh, my favorite songs would be "Sing for the Damage We've Done," along with "I'm All About the Dusk," "An Ocean Between Us," and even "Silver Needle, Golden Dawn." But in my opinion, it's not their greatest album, like a lot of people are saying. It's not their greatest album, but damn well, it's a fantastic LP by Harry Curie for the Sky. Later this week, I'm doing an album ranking for Harry Curie for the Sky. This is one of the, al this is one of the hardest album rankings I've ever had to do. But I think I got the ranking pretty much clear, where there are three albums that just dominate the last two, in my opinion. But yeah... Um, Harry Curie for the Sky, Mir gets a solid 8.5 out of 10. It's just overall a fantastic album. There are some albums in in February that I actually enjoy a little bit more. Harry Curie for the Sky, Mia engages a listener to an hour and 25 minutes, no doubt. And although this album is very long, it's got its merits. It's got its merits and it's got its weaknesses. Like Three Empty's Words, in my opinion, shouldn't have been on this album. No. Although it's still a good song by Harry Curie for the Sky, Three Empty Words is their weakest. So an 8.5 out of 10 it gets. Guys, comment below what you thought about this album review. Do you agree or disagree with my opinion? If you enjoyed this album, if you enjoyed this album review, drop a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I will see you in the next one.